we cannot break the rules of the government unless it is sinful. For instance, if the government is telling you to kill all Christians, then yes, you don't have to follow it. But if the government is telling you to pay your taxes and stuff like that, you should do it. So let's go to Romans 13, 1 through 7. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Verse 1. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. For there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. So the governmental powers are ordained by God, even if the people are sinful. So you have to follow them unless they tell you to do something that is sinful, that is not right. So if the government is telling you to rape people and stuff like that, you don't have to do it because that is sinful. I really hope that makes sense. Verse 2. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of God. So, when you don't follow the rules that aren't sinful of the government, you are breaking the rules of God. You are breaking the ordinance of God. So you may be thinking that you are disobeying the government, but you are disobeying God as well. The kings, the queens, the people who are in power now are in power because of God. God is allowing those people to be in power. That really should make sense. Okay. Where am I? Verse 2, I guess. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of God. And they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. There you go. So damnation will come to you when you are resisting the rules of the government that aren't sinful. When you resist the government, you are resisting God. I know that there may be some people who are really shocked about this. This is the word of God right here. <laughs> I am showing you. Okay. Verse 3. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Will thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good and thou shalt have praise of the same. So let's go to the expanded Bible for number three. Here we are. Those who do right do not have to fear the rulers. Only those who do wrong fear them. Do you want to be unafraid of the rulers? Then do what is right, and they will praise you. There you go. Follow the rules that aren't sinful. So this homosexual law where homosexuals can get married, that is wrong. You don't have to follow that law because it is sinful to be homosexual. And to get married while you are homosexual, that law is wrong. Okay. Where am I? Four. For he is the minister of God to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. For he beareth not the sword in vain. For he is the minister of God, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. So let's go to the expanded Bible for verse 4. The ruler is God's servant to help you. But if you do wrong, 
than be afraid. He has the power to punish. He is God's servant to punish those who do wrong. So, as you can see here, the people who are in power now, God is allowing them to be in power. So follow their rules if it is not sinful. Okay. Verse 5. Wherefore, ye must needs be subject. So you have to be subject to the people that are in power. Unless they tell you to do sinful things. Okay. Not only for wrath, but also for conscience sake. So don't do, so you should follow the government's rules, not because of their punishments, but for your conscience. Because we just read, let me see, let's go back up. Verse 2, whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of God. So, by conscience sake, when you disobey the government, you are disobeying God. So, let's jump back down to verse 5. Wherefore, ye must needs be subject, not only for wrath, so not only for the punishments, that the government will give you by disobeying them but for your conscience because when you disobey the government unless their rules are sinful you are disobeying God six for for this cause pay ye tribute also for they are God's ministers attending continually upon this very thing. I believe tribute is taxes, I believe. Let me see. Yes. So pay your taxes. Don't cheat on your taxes. I know many people, let me say this, I assume many people cheat on their taxes. Even if it is impossible for the IRS to know that you have a certain amount of money, you need to claim it anyways. People may not see what you are doing, but God does. And you have to understand that you reap whatever you sow. Yes, I know that you may want extra money or you may figure that no one is going to find out, but <laughs> either way it goes, you are going to pay. Because if you cheat, you are going to reap whatever you sowed. So God is going to punish you. And God is going to punish you in a way where you are not going to like. So don't cheat, please. For instance, myself, I have done many, many bad things. And believe me, in some way or form, I had to pay for my mistakes. Maybe not the full price, but I still had to pay something. So you are going to reap whatever you sow. And it is not going to be fun either. Okay. Verse 7, render therefore to all their dues. Man, give me a second, please. Verse 7, render therefore to all their dues. Tribute to whom tribute is due. Custom to whom custom. Fear to whom fear honor to whom honor <laughs> so over and over again this is telling you do what the government says unless 
it is sinful. If the government is telling you to do anything that breaks the rules and regulations of God, disobey it. But if it does not go against the rules and regulations of God, you must obey. I know that may be hard to take in, but hey, <laughs> it's right here. It is right here. So really take heed to this. See, I believe the reason why we make so many mistakes because we don't follow the word of God. We believe that doing things in our own way is the best way, which it is not. We get ourselves in so much trouble that we don't need to be in. Just follow the word of God the best that you can. I really hope this makes sense. God bless.